I have some fresh uh, minced garlic. We're using some arrowroot to thicken up our sauce just a bit. And we'll use some rice wine vinegar as well. Now for the rest of our ingredients, we have our chicken. I'm using chicken breast here. We're just gonna chop this up into bite-sized pieces. And my vegetables include the snow peas, some finely diced onion. I have a red bell pepper here that we chopped up, grated carrots, and some sliced, very thinly sliced cabbage. Now you just take your knife and just, you know, just kind of shave it off so it stays nice and, and thin. We'll need some garlic powder. I have some avocado oil, some salt, and to garnish this up, I toasted up some sesame seeds. You do that real easy. Just toss them into a dry pan over medium heat and watch them close and just toss them until they turn a nice golden brown. All right, it's time for our chef joke. Now I have two today. I'm gonna to give you one now and one a little bit later. All right, so what do you call a mischievous egg? A practical yoker. So I'm gonna start off by mixing my sauce ingredients first and I'll place the coconut uh, aminos in the bowl. And I'm gonna add the arrowroot and mix that because you always wanna mix your arrowroot with a liquid that's cool so that it doesn't clump up. So we just wanna do this a little bit at a time, pan. All right, I'm gonna try and lay this in there a single layer if I can. Add some salt and a little garlic powder. Oops. Trying to get each piece to be touching the pan so that it'll cook up. So the chicken cooked this way, cut up into small pieces, uh, actually cooks up rather quickly. It's only going to take just a few minutes on each side. And you can always just cut into one of these, like you take this one and cut it in half, and you can see that it's, it's basically it's done. All right, so once it's done, I'm going to start taking it out here, and I'm going to place it in this dish behind the pan. Now, depending on how much oil's left in the pan after that, you might want to add just a little bit more, because we're going to start cooking our veggies. So we're going to start with our onions because onions take a little bit longer than some of the other uh, vegetables to cook. So toss those in. Same thing with bell peppers. They take longer to cook. And soften up. And the same with the uh, snow peas. So we're going to stir fry this for, you know, just maybe four minutes or so. And we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So this, this, the beauty of this recipe is it comes together very quickly. It's a nice meal you can, you know, put together during the week. Doesn't take long. There is a little bit of prep, you know, just chopping up a few things, but the actual cooking time is quite quick. Now, feel free to sub out any vegetables here that maybe you don't like as well as others. Maybe you want to have broccoli instead of snow peas, or you want to have broccoli in addition to all this. That's great, too. The zucchini works well. I mean, you name it, it works. All right, so here we are after four minutes. So in go the carrots and the cabbage. Nice and colorful, huh? Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna let this go for just another uh, maybe two or three minutes. We could add just a touch of salt, but we have enough salt, I think, from our sauce, so I'm just putting a little bit in. And I pretty much just keep everything moving because it's only just a few minutes. Now all we have to do is add the chicken Add that back in there to, you know, reheat it, make sure it's nice and hot. I'm going to turn the temperature down just a little bit. Just give this a toss. Work that in, and now we're going to add the sauce. It has got a nice little tartness to it, a little sweetness to it. It's got a little bite to it from the, all that garlic we put in there and that, that Tabasco sauce. It is really delicious, guys. It makes the dish. It's very fresh, very quick to put together, 
and super healthy for you. So, hey, if you'd like to see another uh, video with some chicken in it, I've got a one pan fajita dish that you really should try. I'm gonna leave a link for you right here. Click that and go check it out. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. If you like the jokes, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time, guys.